This is the Insta360 Flow Pro. What is it? Is it any good? And is it worth the money? Today, I'm going to be answering all those questions and also the key features of it. Okay, let's get this video started. So when you open up the Insta360 Flow Pro box, there is a variety of things which come with it. Firstly, it can transform into a tripod like I've got it now, and it can also be a self selfie stick. It has AI tracking, which basically means that I can go anywhere and the camera will track me using uh, Apple Dock Kit enabled. However, I recommend getting the app if you're going to get one of these because then it, it so because all most of the features are in the app if you want them so what does the insta360 flow pro have well it's got fo it's foldable and it's portable it's got a built-in tripod a built-in selfie stick it's got a magnetic phone clamp if you buy it separate sorry if you buy it separately you've got a magnet uh I've got a magnet, not a clamp, a magnet, which does it, but it comes with a phone clamp and you can get the app, which is an editor just like CapCut, but maybe even a little better. It comes with a grip cover, a charger, which is a type C USB-C cable, a pouch, a protective pouch, and a warranty card. Now, when you open the box, which is quite easy to do, you get a set of instructions, stuff like this, and you get a warranty card. Now the warranty card is going to be right here or under here inside your box. Now, I'm going to demonstrate some of the features. So right now it's using tracking. So if I were to go all the way over here, it will track me and I'm not doing anything on the screen right now. Another cool thing you can do is you can turn screen on the whole time so the screen doesn't turn off while filming. Remember, it's tracking enabled, so if I were to bend down, it would go bend down. If I were to go all the way around here, it would also do it. I'm going to do a 360 degree turn, and remember, it is using AI to track me. This is the Insta360 and nothing else. There is no external program, and you can obviously also do this. I'm using the app right now, but you can do this in the uh, native camera app and over and in over 200 apps for example youtube and you can live stream on tiktok or snapchat uh, loads of apps which you can use with the apple dot kit now let me explain about the smart wheel let's go so the smart wheel is the smart wheel obviously it's very smart now let me explain how it works you've got a zooming knob which you can zoom in and zoom out to to uh, your preference you've got a wheel where you can adjust the way it moves you've also got now a point of views you can have the auto which i've normally got on because it's the best way you've got the f uh, uh, mode so front the ff mode like so it's more front on and the pov mode so in your point of view which is quite cool the way you train to them is just by using your thumb and going over scroll wheel which is a nice feature on the app you can switch the camera around with a switch button or in any scenario you can press it double tap it and it will change from landscape to portrait which is a nice cool feature there's a record button which and you can also in the app change what these buttons do now there is also on the back a trigger button which will trigger auto lock instantly i've got an auto lock on my face right now so it will continue in tracking me track me until i turn it off it can also track objects so if i get this football which it will obviously track me doing you get this football and uh, I could track it, which I'll show you in a minute. But first, the tracking's really smart. If I put this football above my face, it seems like the camera's lost. Or if I get this towel, put it above my face, it will have a yellow marking because it won't be able to find me. However, as soon as I come back in, it will latch straight onto me again. I'll demonstrate this again. If I hold this, the camera will not move. But if I go back into frame, take it off, the camera will adapt and continue moving. Okay, let's try and track with the football now. So, I need to go into the thing. I first need to take off my tracking. 
get the football and circle it. So now the football should be tracked. I'm just gonna check again. I get the football in. Yes, the football is now in, is the one which it's tracking. See, it's on the floor, it's gonna go to the floor. If I throw it up high, it will try and go up high. It's not the best, but it is very nice. Over here, it will go over there. Yeah, so that's another cool feature. It can track objects. I'm just putting it back onto my face because it's the best way to do it. Now, for the Insta360 app, I can tell you what you can do. So you've got stabilization because it is a gimbal. It's I'm really sorry about that. I did just cut out because my camera is overheating. Well, the Insta360 is not, but the phone is. Remember, it's got AI powered, deep track free, uh, 360 infinite pan tracking. I'm gonna demonstrate that now. I can just literally do this and it will track me. Oh, has it lost me? I don't think it has. Oh yeah, my phone is overheating, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it past its best now. But I'll try again. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty good, the Insta360. Uh, remember it's native, it's in the native camera app, and it's got a 10 hour battery life, which is quite cool. If I zoom out, sometimes you can it will zoom in. I'm not saying it always does, but sometimes it will, which is a really Really, sorry, cool feature. <laughs> I was about to sneeze. <laughs> it's a really, really cool feature. And <coughs> pardon me. Anyway, you can also tilt the selfie stick. So I'm just gonna pick up the camera right now, okay? And you can extend the selfie stick quite far and bend it down at you. So, and it will continually track you will continually track you in the selfie stick which is nice nice cool feature now as it's a gimbal it has stabilization like i've said previously before my phone cut out now i'm going to demonstrate that stabilization so i'm just going to again track onto my face and we stabilization i'm running i'm putting the phone up and down as you can see it's not shaking that much at all so when I review this footage, it will look incredible. But I promise you, that it's very still. I'm shaking it a lot. And it's really quite still for how much I'm shaking it. I'm using full force here and it's very still. If I go from left to right, it's quite still. But remember, it might, well, it might think that I am going left to right. Now I'm gonna show you that it can lock, lock on to objects. So I'm in the garden and I'm just gonna lock onto this pink ball. Okay, so I'm gonna move the boy over here and it's still locking on. So even if I put the camera out of frame, it will lock on. So I'm gonna take this pink ball and it's, the camera is gonna try and find it. And when it finds it, it will have locked on. It's locked on. So if I were to kick this ball, it would find it again and it would have it in its tracks. It's right here, the ball. And look, I'm just gonna pick the ball up to demonstrate this. I've picked the ball up and it can't see me, but it can see the ball, which is quite cool. Okay, let's move on from that. And I'm going to move on to the tripod on the bottom. Now I first need to track it on me because it's not that great without that. Uh, the tri now the tri tripod on the bottom extends it. So it can be 26 centimeters bigger than its original. It's also very lightweight and overall it's a great piece of tech thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed please smash the subscribe button and hit the like button bye